welcome to civils online your affordable personal coach this is part of civils exam current affairs series and this is your daily dose of current affairs this is for the dates 22nd 23rd 24th and 25th february 2016 so reading a complete newspaper can be hectic and time consuming so every day we take one or two topics and we name it as topic of interest which will be discussed in detail Uh, with case in point and important terms to give you exactly what you need uh, to focus upon uh, particularly for civil service preparation so let's see uh, today's topic of interest so first day of budget session uh, being stormy with the debates on jnu hcu controversies and railway budget was also presented so uh, the budget session was started on 23rd uh, february 2016 and railway budget was presented on 25th february 2016 and the session was stormy uh, because of the controversies of jawaharlal nehru university and hyderabad central university controversies where national and anti national uh, debates were going on Uh, let's see i mean ahead of uh, budget session P- pm modi said uh, that conspiracies are being hatched to destabilize the government and called for a productive parliament session however the opposition called for rohit's act to end campus casteism and among other demands so indications of a stormy beginning of the session emerged at all party meeting with the opposition accusing the government of setting the agenda for disruption so this is the uh, important issue let's see the case in point what is the background uh, like uh, so this year this is the first session of the parliament that is budget session of the parliament where the union financial budget as well as the railway budget are being presented and uh, the regular business of uh, passing a few important bills will also be taken care of so let's see the background so um, so this is a crucial session why it is a crucial session so any session of the parliament is important particularly the budget session will be important because of the presentation of financial and railway budgets and this this session is crucial for the government because uh, there are two important bills goods and service tax bill and real estate bill which have been uh, you know stranded lacking support from opposition in the upper house so what happened on the first day of the session uh, generally the f- first session of a particular year starts with president's address uh, the two for the joint sitting of both houses of the parliament where the president uh, highlighted the government's agenda and policy for the upcoming year he said democratic temper calls for debate and not disruption and highlighted welfare programs of the government the theme of sabka saath sabka vikas and he highlighted few of the schemes uh, like the successful jan dhan yojana uh, which gave a financial inclusion to crores of people in india uh, however the opposition moved and passed amendments to president speech in rajya sabha uh, the demand is that the corruption and black money issues are not mentioned in the president speech so amendment to president speech happened uh, this is the fourth time in the history of parliament and it is a major embarrassment to the ruling government uh, later the session uh, witnessed heated debates among government and opposition parties over these uh, jnu and hcu controversies uh, then uh, railway budget was presented railway budget for 2016 and 17 was presented by the railway minister with an outlay of rupees 1 lakh 21000 crores the highlights of the railway budget are no hike in passenger fares action has been initiated on 139 budget announcements made last year eliminate all unmanned level crossings by 2020 as part of swachh bharat mission 17000 uh, bio toilets and additional toilets in 475 stations before close of this financial year only an increased quota for senior citizens and women travelers this year 
Wi-Fi at 100 stations this year and 400 stations next year. Enhanced capacity of e-ticketing system from 2,000 tickets per minute to 7,200 tickets per minute and supporting 1.2 lakh concurrent users now as opposed to 40,000 earlier. All major stations to be brought under CCTV surveillance in a phased manner. Dean Dayal coaches for long distance trains for unreserved passengers. These coaches will be will include portable water and higher number of mobile charging points. IRCT to manage catering service in phased manner. Local cuisine of choice will be made available to passenger. Cleaning of toilets by request through SMS. Children's menu, baby foods, baby boards to be made available to traveling mothers. GPS based digital display in coaches for showing upcoming stations. Will open cancellation facility through 139 helpline number. Introduce barcode tickets on pilot basis to tackle menus of ticketless travel. On new projects to be implemented this year, overnight double decker trains to be introduced on business travel routes. 1600 kilometers of electric electrification this year and 2000 kilometers proposed for the next year. Broad gauge Lumding's Silchar section in Assam connecting Barak Valley with the rest of the country. Particularly in Northeast India which was which is landlocked and especially Mizoram and Manipur states to be connected through broad gauge soon. Special purpose vehicle for Ahmedabad Mumbai high speed corridor registered this month. So these are the highlights of the railway budget. Let's see what are the important terms here. So uh, we talk about uh, the sessions of the parliament, the budget session and all this. So what is a session actually? So the period during which the house meets to conduct its, conduct its business is called a session. Its business is passing various bills, resolutions, debates, questions, etc. Presentation of the budgets, etc. That is the regular business of the parliament. And the period in which this, this business takes place is called a session. So we, are, we hear about different uh, sessions of parliament. Let's see. And how many times in a year uh, the sessions will be conducted and what, what are the rules. So the con constitution empowers the president uh, through Article 85 to summon each house at such intervals that there should not be more than six months gap between two sessions. That means that in a particular year the parliament should meet at least twice. So there should not be more than six months gap between two sessions. Uh, however, the parliament generally conducts three sessions in a year. The three sessions are called budget session, monsoon session and winter session. So the budget session happens from February to May where union and railway budgets are presented and regular business also happen. Monsoon session is the second. It happens from July to September and in which regular business is taken care of. The third session is winter session from November to December. In here, here also regular business is taken care of. So these are the sessions of the parliament. Uh, okay, uh, we are clear about the sessions, but there are uh, some other things like uh, some questions will be asked and the ministers will be answering and there will be some debates. So we we hear of a question hour, zero hour, such kind of terms. Uh, there are many such kind of terms and terms in parliamentary proceedings. But let's uh, get to know the important terms. What is question hour? First hour of every parliamentary sitting during which the members ask questions. These questions are with prior notice and ministers usually give answers. The member asks questions and ministers has to uh, give answers. These questions are with prior notice. What is zero hour? It is an informal device available to the members of parliament to raise matters without any prior notice. The zero hour starts immediately after the question hour and lasts until the starting of the regular business of the day. And we hear about different motions. So the parliament houses express their decisions or opinions on various issues through the adoption or rejection of motions 
moved by either ministers or private members. So there are different kinds of motions for various purposes. Apart from motions, there are discussions, mentions, resolutions, etc. as part of parliamentary proceedings to highlight various matters of public importance. So these are the parliamentary proceedings. Uh, and also we came to know that the president gave a special address to parliament that too for the joint sitting of both houses. So let's see what is this special address. So as per constitutional article 87, at the commencement of new Lok Sabha and at the commencement of the first session of each year, the president shall address the joint sitting of both houses and inform them of the causes of its summons. That means that the president will tell, you know, uh, the purpose of the session and what is the government policy for the year ahead. Such kind of things will be addressed by the president to the joint sitting of both houses. And what is union budget? It also referred to as annual financial statement as per article 112 of constitution. It is the annual budget of Republic of India. It is presented each year on the last working day of February by the Finance Minister of India in Parliament. The budget which is presented by means of financial bill and appropriation bill has to be passed by the both houses before it can come into effect on April 1st, the start of India's financial year. What is railway budget? Okay, uh, about union budget it is clear but why there is a separate budget for railways? Uh, because uh, all the ministries and departments are included in the union budget itself. So why there is a separate budget for railways? Let's see. So let's see what is railway budget. It is the annual financial statement of the Indian railways, which handles rail transport in India. It is presented every year a few days before the union budget by the Ministry of Railways in the parliament. The, the railway finances of India were separated from the general government finances in 1924 because of the size and impact of the railways uh, for the people and for the country. And this practice of separate financer for, for railways continues in the independent India till date. Okay, this is the uh, today's topic of interest that is the budget, budget session and the railway budget. And let's wait for the uh, union budget as well which will give direction for the country for the next financial year. So for civil's point of view uh, the budgets, the union budget, the railway budget and there is, uh, there, is, there is one thing called economic survey of India. The economic survey is presented which gives uh, the performance, the financial performance of the government for the previous year. So the economic survey of India is presented, the union budget is presented which is for the coming financial year and railway budget is also being presented. So these, these documents, the, the, you know, the excerpts of these documents are important for civil's preparation. So please go through these documents. Uh, anyway, in the coming videos, uh, we will be discussing about uh, economic survey of India and financial budget of India in detail. So coming to other news items, huge crowds throng uh, to once in 12 year Mahamaham festival in Kumbakonam, Tamil Nadu. IITs to hold entrance exam abroad for foreign students. Unemployment down in urban centers but persists in rural areas, says National Sample Survey Organization's survey. Supreme Court decides against solitary confinement for Professor Sai Baba who was in jail uh, for alleged Maoist links. Public interest litigation against actor Sanjay Dutt's release from Aravada jail. Uh, Supreme Court opined that agitation organizers must pay for the damage of public property. This observation came on the backdrop of hearing of Patel agitation case. Headley's cross-examination likely. Sh Shani Temple Row police detained women activists. Defense Minister Manohar Parikar opposes letting Pakistani investigators into Patan Court Air Base. Adivasi rights activist and Ahmadmi Party leader Soni Sori, who was attacked with acid like substance on her face, being uh, treated in hospital, and she was provided with high security. 
uh, in cricket india scores win against bangladesh in asia cup coming to international news seven killed in michigan shootings tech giant apple urges usa government to form panel on encryption issues nasa working on crunching a mars trip to 3 days obama pushes for closure of controversial us military prison at guantanamo bay also referred to as gitmo will return to usa if fate rail is guaranteed says edward snowden london mayor's backing gives major boost to brexit campaign that is britain's exit from european union provisional deal reached in syria ceases fire uss scrambles to contain is in libya 13 dead in bombing north of kabul india approved project to develop iranian port chabahar foreign secretaries of india and pakistan may first meet in kathmandu rather than islamabad 23 dead as plane crashes in nepal so this is uh, your daily dose of current affairs you can also attend free online civils foundation course february 2016 batch class timings are monday to friday every evening 7 pm to 8 pm to attend these classes all you need is a computer with internet for login information you can visit this link www.civilsonline2016.blogspot.in or you just contact us for any civils related information these are our contact details subscribe to civils online youtube channel at this link to get civils preparation videos ncert class lessons and current affairs videos uh, just click on this link or just simply type civils online in youtube to get the channel civils online without any spaces uh, like civils online facebook page that is www.facebook.com/civilsonline to get updates on civils preparation